be elected. City Lot. This is City TV everywhere. Electric Circus is a community dance show. He traces his history back to Boogie in the old building 20 years ago. Boogie, Canada's hippest TV show with disco DJ Vlad. It was all based on the same principle, a generational cultural love of music. They were all, to a certain degree, identifying with each other by way of the music. Here's Vlad. Welcome to Boogie. This is the one place in Canada where absolutely everybody is a star. Hey, we're live on Queen Street! Electric Circus is about what we are. You know, we are the people station in the city of Toronto. We're part of the process of living in the city. We're part of the cultural experience. Circus. Really what we're about is access. It's access to the building for people and it's access for the cameras into people's lives to demonstrate the pop culture of the city. Who wants to come in today? Okay, we should um, get ready. One, two, three, come on! Who's got the juice? My OP's got the juice! We bring a lot of live acts in that would never get exposure anywhere else otherwise. What do I think about City TV? Yeah. And Sharon Kevin, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm a manager, and my first act that I had was Maestro Fresh West, and he was discovered on this show, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so, you know, I definitely have good feelings about this show. Who's got the juice? Why got the juice? Yeah, who's got the juice? for local talent to get some sort of media exposure that they wouldn't otherwise get. For the most part, it started a long, long time ago on City TV. Good evening and welcome to Music City. That's when the first hands were being shaken as far as uh, establishing relationships with uh, the music industry. At home, you need two things. Your TV set turned to City TV, Channel 79, Cable 7, and your stereo tuned to Chem FM 104.5. We had a new tool. We had portable cameras. We had a, an opportunity to take your eyes to where things were really happening. In terms of rock and roll, that was quite startling. Ladies and gentlemen, the power cord. Heavy metal, We developed the expertise on how to put television from a concert situation into your home on television. What else is on here, John? What am I going to ask you next? He's going to ask me about New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Now, there's a classic example yeah. of what City TV does best in terms of getting the public and a television station together. Well, again, it's the same kind of thing. I mean, do we want to manufacture a New Year's Eve show that is recorded in June and play it on December the 31st? Or do we want to get out there and enjoy New Year's Eve with the city? I think we've changed the nature of the way people view rock and roll and the way they uh, view its place in our city and how important it is. When the new music first went on the air, it was the only music television show, I think, in the world at that time. In the beginning, people used to say it's only rock and roll and therefore dispose of the idea. These days, music is big business. We, we look at it from all types of different as aspects, from where it comes socially, of course, politically and culturally, and we understand that it has a big part to play these days. One of the things that artists are fond of saying these days is think globally, act locally. And I think that reflects on City TV fairly well, especially when it comes to the new music, because what we can do is reflect the kind of music that's happening in the city with the issues that these artists are talking about. And what happens is, is if you have a successful program locally, suddenly it's on television sets all over the world. They say that our news magazine style programming has great legs, meaning of course, it's traveled well in international syndication, around the world in fact. Hola, mi nombre es Ginny Beck. I think the show is already in about 25 countries and still counting. It makes sense that a show like this would be developed out of a station like City because it's a station that pays attention to what's on the minds of, of a hipper, urban, 
younger audience, and we were already doing that with uh, music and movies. It made sense to do something on style and fashion and design because these were the sensibilities of younger, hipper, urban people. And uh, it, makes, it helps round out the station's mandate in the sense that it's paying attention to what a lot of the people that they hope are watching are concerned with. Movies reflect, like fashion, the, the style of the day, what's going on in people's minds, their emotions, um, and their escapes. Movies have always reflected what the world is thinking about at that particular time. This is a new kind of television factory that's uh, invented for the production of high volumes of information-oriented television in an almost perpetual flow. And the building is organized so that while it's telling the story of the world out there, it's also able to shoot the story of the people who are telling the story of the world out there. And that difference adds a story component and uh, an informality and uh, glamour that makes the experience of watching our channel different from the experience of watching others. It looks like the worst of it has passed us by. I don't mind that everybody doesn't or won't like it. Mm -hmm. The truth is that most people like it some of the time. Uh, and the uh, truth of our situation is that percentage, the people who like it, keeps growing all the time. And the people who like it the other way keeps mm -hmm. shrinking all the time. Mm -hmm. It's appropriate that a news serial on City TV should end here, at Speaker's Corner. After all, this is the ultimate physical manifestation of the City TV mandate to be participatory and interactive, an environment where the public's input is the most important element. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting, guys. See you next. Thanks. Thanks.